This is the 12 South Compass Pro, a foldable compact stand for iPads and other tablets. Its sleek design makes it feel right at home with Apple products, which is something that's really welcoming because the iPad doesn't offer any good drawing or viewing angles on its own. So typically you're gonna want an accessory like this. I'm Tsukaben, I've been an illustrator for over 10 years, and I'm gonna put that experience to the test and let you know whether this product is worth it or not for drawing. The compact nature of the Compass is one of its best selling points. Compared to other stands and cases on the market, the Compass Pro won't add much bulk or weight to your daily carry. It's also very versatile, being compatible with a variety of different devices. Two hinges offer three preset angles with hard stops, which makes it very easy to go from drawing to typing to video viewing. It is also possible to use the compass at an angle before one of those hard stops, but if you're doing this for drawing, the pressure of your hand will eventually cause the stand to shift and hit one of those hard stops. Since we are talking about drawing, I honestly can't recommend this product if your sole intention is to use it to get a good drawing angle. This triangle design just isn't the most stable. Applying pressure on either side of a device will make it tilt or shift in that direction. It makes drawing much more difficult. I experienced this issue with a variety of different devices and angles with a stand, and it felt like the larger the device was, the more pronounced it would be, but even on the smaller iPad Mini 5, I would find this issue to interfere with drawing. Even though most people typically draw in the middle of the screen, the pressure from your palm is going to cause the device to shift in that direction. If you do intend to use this product for drawing, I recommend folding up the feet and making sure that the base of your tablet rests on the table. This isn't a perfect solution, but it does improve stability for drawing or typing. Speaking of those legs, they support the tablet well for other activities, but the build quality was really disappointing on my unit. One of the legs is so stiff it can be very difficult to deploy. These leg issues weren't the only shoddy build quality issues I experienced with this product. This rubber stopper that rests on the table came loose, which isn't too big of a deal, just disappointing. But while testing this stand, I actually had the iPad propped up on it and I was writing my review, I ended up breaking part of the hinge. It's kind of difficult to show exactly what happened on camera, but after exerting some force on the second hinge, a small metal piece broke and I no longer have the hard stop for this angle. I don't think I exerted more force than a typical user would, and I'd only used the product maybe 30-40 times, so all of these build issues ended up being quite disappointing, especially for a premium product coming in at $59.99 US on 12 South Zone website. If you're an artist that's looking to get a better drawing angle for your device, I feel like there are better products out there. Even when trying to use the compass for photo editing or typing, I feel like it could be unstable, and for propping up the iPad as a secondary screen, it doesn't offer the best viewing angles. So in general, I would give this product a pass. It's a shame though because the idea of a folding stand like this is an ideal solution for many users, but I feel like the implementation here isn't the best. Honestly, if you're looking for the most portable solution to get a good drawing or viewing angle on your iPad, I feel that Apple's own smart cover does a really good job of this and it doubles as a screen protector for your iPad. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like or leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to chat about art and technology. I'm Skippen and thank you so much for watching.